Here's the truth about becoming a self-taught programmer. And I'm probably gonna ruin this video because you'll probably leave right after I say this. But the truth is that you're probably not gonna make it. Learning how to code and landing a job as a developer was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I've done a lot of things in my life that people would consider hard. I've quit smoking cigarettes, and that was really, really hard to do. I have a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is pretty hard to do. I got myself out of poverty by working service industry jobs. I fixed my credit and purchased a house, which a lot of people think it's hard to do. And I didn't do that from learning how to code. I did that before I learned how to code. I even have a semi-successful YouTube channel, which a lot of people will tell you is really hard to do. I've done a lot in my life that people would consider to be really difficult. And out of all those things that I just mentioned, becoming a self-taught programmer and learning how to code on my own and getting a job is by far the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I'm not making this video to discourage anyone, but I feel like I have to keep it real. I feel like there's a lot of us on YouTube that come out here and tell people that they can learn to code and get a job as a developer and everything's gonna be all hunky-dory. And the truth is that you can do it, but it's really, really hard. And the chances of you accomplishing that are really small. And if you hear that, of course you're gonna be discouraged. But because I was able to do that, I know that it's something that anyone can do. But the truth is that most people are gonna quit along the way. And honestly, with everything in life, that pretty much determines your success, is whether or not you just stick with it. And it sounds so cliche, it sounds so simple, it sounds so unromantic. It just sounds too easy, right? It sounds like bullshit. If it was that easy, everyone could do it but most people just don't have what it takes to stick with something for a really, really long time. Once you've spent a couple months learning something and you realize that it's gonna be a lot harder than you thought it would be and you realize that all the stuff that you have been learning up until that point is just like a small fraction of all the things that you're gonna need to learn and how much effort goes into learning all these things and how much time and how much dedication and how much networking and how much working on your resume and working on your portfolio and working on your projects and, and leak code grinding and trying to do everything you can to actually accomplish becoming a self-taught programmer and getting a job as a developer. It's, it's really, really tough and it's really, really difficult. And yeah, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bum you out if you're learning how to code right now. And if anything, I hope you hear this and you're like, this guy, he's not going to tell me that I can't do it. I hope I encourage you in that way by making this video. But I also don't want to go around telling everyone that they can learn how to code and not talk about the realities of it and not talk about the realness and the grind that's involved in trying to do it on your own. And it's not that a boot camp's gonna make it better, or it's not that going to college is gonna make it better. But at the end of the day, you still gotta stick with the boot camp, and after the boot camp, you have to do everything you have to do in order to get hired, and the same goes with college, right? You're gonna have to do all that time in college, you're gonna have to pass your exams, you're gonna have to work for that degree, and then by the time you get the degree, you're gonna have to go and find a job and start your career. Well, I'm four years into my career as a developer right now, and I can tell you that even after four years, it's still hard. I'm still learning every day. It's still really, really tough. So even if you're able to learn how to code and accomplish the dream of getting a job, it doesn't end there. It, it's still a grind. It's still a lot of work. It's still showing up every day. It's still learning every day. It's still getting stuck on problems and trying to figure things out. And it's still everything that it is when you're learning how to code. And while that does go away a little bit and after you have some experience, if you're specialized in certain things, you can kind of coast by doing things on autopilot and things become very familiar to you and you'll know a lot more and you'll be able to get a lot of work done, but you're still gonna come across a lot of the same things and the same feelings that you felt when you were learning how to code. At least I still do. And I know it's corny when I sound like a life coach on here, but the truth is, is that I feel like this is maybe the area of programming and learning how to code that's missing from YouTube and that not too many people talk about. So if it does help people out there, then it's worth it. And if it helped you, make sure you hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, you might like some more of my other content. So make sure you check out some more of my other videos or subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you next time.